Checking the mic. Checking the mic. Yep. I'll be here all week. Thank you. Huh? Talkie Talkerson? Come on. Let's go. Hey, contestants. How you doing? Glad you could be here. How many people do we have playing today? Out of there. Don't panic. Yeah, okay. All right. We're doing the solo thing. I need a name here. If we can do this with the lead and harmony, all I want to take. Helen asked for that five minutes ago. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Uh, are you looking for a seven-question tournament-length game or a full 21-question deal? Hey there, heads up. Your buzzer's letter B as in butcher shop. No visual Make it happen before I blow a gasket. 20 seconds. Whoa, heads up. All right, when a question pops up, you got to buzz in. Then you pick your answer on the screen and hit the right key on your keyboard. You follow me? Okay, quiet all around, and here we go. Lose the desktop. Thank you, and go to black. The power okay, guys, stand by. If your pinkies a second longer. category great catches and blow holes a right answer will get you two G's for this question get ready to buzz cuz here it comes if Captain Ahab from Moby Dick went on a mission to catch the NFL receiver who made the catch in 1981 whom would he be trying to reel in Dwight Clark Jerry Rice Art Monk or Michael Irvin you got it oh wait um no no you didn't you know what you could have picked you could have picked this Dwight Clark made the spectacular catch for the 49ers in the 81 NFC Championship. And after he made the catch, his teammates lashed him to the ball and threw him out to sea. Okie doke, well, give me a category. Down! Question two! The category behind this question is... It's a FIFA free-for-all! Right here, 1,000 bucks for a right answer. Okay, let's imagine a real dimwit has taken up professional international soccer. If this player is under the impression that injury time is the part of the game during which he should injure all the other players on the field, when would the 21 injuries occur? During the final seconds of either half, in overtime, within the first five minutes of the second half, or throughout halftime? Overtime, you're right! Your time is over. And let's see the correct answer. Because the clock doesn't stop in soccer, the time during each half that's spent caring for injured players is added on to the end of that half. So, uh, how long do they add on for each injured fan? Category time. What's it gonna be? Ooh, ooh, right in the threes. That's gotta hurt. Three. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Baseball and Labor Day. And this one's gonna be worth $2,000. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. Let's say you get pregnant at the Major League Baseball All-Star Game. Assuming your pregnancy is of normal length, when you go into labor, you'll be able to watch what? The World Series, the Summer Olympics, the Super Bowl, or the NBA playoffs? Nine months from July would put you in April, which is when the NBA playoffs start. Guess you earned yourself a playoff berth. Hello, one, two. Okay, pick a category. Look at me, I got a four. <laughs> Ouch. The category is third base from the sun. And this one's going to be worth $3,000. Okay, I'm sure all you amateur geologists know that the Earth's mantle is the part between the crust and the core. If the Earth were a giant Major League Baseball instead of a planet, what would be the makeup of its mantle? Leather, cork, yarn, or molten lava? Strikeout. <laughs> Anyone interested in the right answer? Here you go. A baseball's mantle would be the yarn between the cork and the leather wrap. Hmm, I wonder if Mickey Mantle was into leather wraps. How about it? Hit me with the category. The corner pocket, number five. Ah! 
And this category is Journey to Fogie Land. This question's worth $2,001 bills. All right, time for Anthropology Corner. Let's check out some field notes. Tribal elders set forth on a ritual journey across hilly terrain, avoiding or besting hazards as they go. They are preceded by small white beacons launched with crooked sticks. What's the game? A senior golf tournament, Belgian foosball, an aboriginal walkabout, or the Aztec precursor to High Lie? It's a description of a senior golf tournament. And when they pair off to play, it's called a double fogey. Hello! Okie doke, give me a category. Uh-oh, Test Nuts Lit Crime Store! It's time for a Tinker Lake Test Run! Your category for this gibberish question is... Fetching dresses and crystal balls. The opening value is 5,000 clammies. Okay, now remember you don't have a lot of time here, so the less time you take, the more money you make. Okay, tell me this. What famous athletic achievement does this rhyme with? And remember, don't let the punctuation fool you. Residence shawl, mystical knit dress, adored. Okay, let's see if you know it. Start typing and hit return when you're done. You know, I could never do that stupid rope climb thing. You know, what the hell was that about anyway? All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Under the rim with question seven. Here's your category. What to do with burly men? Pop a right answer for this one. You got 3,000 greenbacks. On your marks, get set. Here's the question. If famous folk singer Burl Ives were used in a burling contest, what would the competitors do with him? Ride him naked across a snow-covered field, use axes in a race to shave him bald, float him in a river and spin on him, or scale to the top of his belly. Burling is the lumberjack sport also known as log rolling, where two competitors try to keep their balance on a floating log while trying to dunk their opponent. <laughs> and remember, if you ever get a burl on your log, see a doctor. Category time, what's it gonna be? Two, four, six, eight, question eight is jail bait. go eight! And the category is, you're soaking in it. And we are talking 1,000 bucks for this question. Okay, try to imagine how the game of baseball would be changed if Madge the manicurist were a manager. Suppose Madge tells her players to start soaking more often. If she's referring to the old baseball practice of soaking, what is she telling them to do? Hit runners with the baseball, spit on runners as they slide into base, soak their bats in oil, or go to the local pub and drink between innings? In the early days of baseball, you could get a runner out by soaking him or hitting him with the baseball. But I don't think it was ever legal to soak your opponents in palm olive. Okay, pick a category. Runners, take your mark. Set nine. The category? The Association Against Breast Stroking. And we'll pay out $3,000 for this one. All right, let's get this ball rolling. Which of the following could be the slogan for a women's coalition for dairy products and sexual equality and also contain all four standard swimming strokes? Back our breasts for free butter. Sides of butter should be free, not breasts. Free the expired butter, bring back bacteria, or forward for breasts, backs against churning. Sides of butter should be free, not breasts. Free? Nah, this is gonna cost ya. <laughs> this is the correct answer. The backstroke, the breaststroke, the freestyle, and the butterfly. And if you support the synchronized swim team, they'll give you a whole lot of cheese. How about it? Hit me with the category. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The category is Go West, Young Ball Club. Okay, swing this one and I'll give you 2,000 bucks. Wipe off your finger and get it ready. Let's get busy. If the Beverly Hillbillies held a dinner party for sports teams that, like them, migrated to the Los Angeles area, which of the following teams would not receive an invitation? Los Angeles Lakers, Los Angeles Dodgers, Los Angeles Kings, or Los Angeles Clippers? The Los Angeles Kings didn't migrate. They were created in L.A. in 1967. But I think Jethro was definitely a product of inbreeding.
Okay, that's the end of round one. Let's move on to round two. Okay, listen up. In round two, everything's worth double. You understand what double means? Times two? Okay, let's go. Okie doke, give me a category. U -G -L -Y. You ain't got no alibi. 11. This one's gonna be pedal pushers. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. All right, suppose you're riding your mountain bike through some hilly country. Because his or her name is also the name of the proper gear to use, which character might you ask to help push you up an extremely steep hill? Aunt B from the Andy Griffith Show, Squiggy from Laverne and Shirley, Granny from the Beverly Hillbillies, or HR Puff and stuff? Bikers use the granny gear when climbing those steep hills. Jed, my back hurts! Hee doggies, granny, push. I'll let you sit on the handlebars on the way down. Okay, pick a category. Uh-oh, best putts fits mine, whore. Once again, it's time for a Liquor is the Stone. This gibberish questions category is... Maybe some penicillin would help. And if you're really fast, you can get up to 10,000 bucks for this gibberish question. Now you're gonna have about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, but I'll be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. All right, tell me something. What annual event does this rhyme with? The warm pee gave me pain. Hint number one, it's a famous football game. A game featuring two branches. Ooh, you think you got it. Okay, start typing and hit return when you're... It's the midshipmen and the cadets, and the warm pee gave me pain. And maybe they wouldn't have all that pain if they paid attention to those hygiene films. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. The thrill of victory, the agony of 13. And the category is prostitutes on ice. It's going to be worth $4,000. Hang on tight. Here we go. If Heidi Fleiss joined a hockey team and was penalized for hooking, why would she be sent off the ice? She used her stick to hold someone, she jabbed a guy with the butt end of her stick, she grabbed an opponent's stick, or she punched a referee in the face. <laughs> Using your stick to hold or injure someone is called hooking. <laughs> and hooking Heidi back is gonna cost you extra. Category time, what's it gonna be? All sports, all the time, you're tuned to 14. The name of this category is Soccer and Fashion Rebels. And I'll pay you $4,000 if you get this one right. Okay, imagine this. RuPaul's soccer team takes to the field in green uniforms while she trots out to her position as goalie in a pink uniform. What happens to her? She gets fined, she gets disqualified, she gets a yellow card, or nothing happens to her. Nothing would happen to Ms. RuPaul. In soccer, the goalkeeper has to wear different colors to distinguish himself, or herself, from the other players and the referee. Thank goodness there are sports left where a girl can be herself. Okay, pick a category. It's question 15, it's question 15. And this category is, isn't he a ballerina? $6,000 is riding on this one. Everything in place? Because here she comes. Receiver Fred Bolitnikoff was famous for behavior that would now be illegal under the equipment section of the official NFL rules. Based on his actions, what would be the best nickname for him? Spike, garlic breath, white shoes, or sticky? Wrong, but at the Super Bowl XI post-game party, it was never determined who put the pure grain alcohol in the punch. Here's what you should have guessed. Bolitnikov was famous for putting gobs of stickum on his socks and applying it to his hands before the play. But luckily, the sticky socks only attracted the kind of passes that helped Bolitnikov get into the Hall of Fame. Okie doke, give me a category. Here's your category, horses and beer. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. So, you feeling anxious? Me too, let's go. 
If the world were controlled by thoroughbred horse racing enthusiasts, how long would Colt 45 malt liquor have to age in order to earn the name Colt? Two weeks, six months, two to five years, or ten years? No, that would be Glue Factory 45. And here's the right answer. A colt is a male horse that's two to five years old. Me? Well, I prefer two to five year old beer to malt liquor any day. How about it? Hit me with the category. Nine plus eight, ten plus seven. The category is gymnastics and chest hair. And this is $4,000 here. All right, get yourself set. It's time. If Flip Wilson's amazing flips landed him a spot on the U.S. Olympic gymnastics team, what might his teammates call him? Pip Wilson, Salto Wilson, Hula Wilson, or Sukahara Wilson? A Salto is another name for a flip. And Flip Wilson is sometimes called Ernestine when he's looking sassy. Category time, what's it gonna be? 18. The category behind this question is, like stealing third from a baby. All right, you're gonna be pretty good if you get this one. It's worth 6,000 bucks. Ready on the trigger? Pull. Which of these candy products is named after baseball great Babe Ruth? The Sultan of Sweet, Baby Ruth, Bambino, or Goobers? The Bambino and Big Champ bars were both produced by the George Ruth Candy Company. Yeah! He used to throw handfuls of them into the stands yelling, Eat me! All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. 19 here. Get your ice cold 19. Here's the category. Twilight Zone Defense. And there's $6,000 at the end of this question. Imagine, if you will, this harrowing experience in the Twilight Zone. As an NFL kickoff returner, you take a kick 99 yards from your one-yard line. Suddenly, you're shocked to discover that you're actually playing arena football. What would be true? You still need 200 more yards to score. You've run all the way into the stands. You're holding a yellow ball, or you're being chased by bulls. An arena football field is only 50 yards long from goal line to goal line, so you would have run all the way into the cheap seats. Yeah! And since we're talking arena football, they really are cheap seats. Okay, pick a category. Plenty. All right, let's see what we're doing here. The rewards of getting belted. And this one's 4,000 bucks for a right answer. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. Well, no, you've blown a fan belt in the middle of nowhere. Luckily, you have your World Boxing Association Championship belt to use as a replacement. Which of the following is true? Your belt pulley needs to be three inches wide. Your fan belt is cruelty-free. Mechanics will love all the golden brass, or if you lose your title, you lose your fan belt. No, boxers get to keep their belts, even if they lose their titles. No need to add pantsing to injury. Let's take a look at the correct answer. The buckle of your makeshift fan belt is gold-plated and the side panels are brass. But frankly, an old pair of pantyhose does just as well. Check your back seat. Category time, what's it gonna be? is upon you. Oh, you already got the rules down, huh? Well, let's not waste time. Match on this. This city's full of good sports. Let's see what you're full of. The attack will tell us.
attack the attack! Let's check out the final tally! That's the game! Player, a win like this should put you in the Hall of Fame. But since you're the only player, it'd probably be a pretty small Hall of Fame, don't you think? Hey, and you know what it would say over the door? You don't know, Jack! Um, great show, everybody. Can we please uh, cue the commercials? And Cookie, can you uh, can you tell me the story about these contestants? What's happening? All right, if you want to play again, you just gotta let me know whenever you're ready, okay? Come over here. Was that a crack? You know I'm sensitive about my male pattern baldness. You won't be for long. I just bought the new plug o -matic hair and applique rivet gun. Hold still. Ow. Ow. Wow, I look fantastic. See? With the plug o -matic hair and applique rivet gun, you just rip the hair follicles off your back and implant them in your scalp. I look chic. Do not stop now. I won't. And you won't either. With the plug o -matic hair and applique rivet gun. Also available. Snip-O-Matic Home Spay and Neutering Clamp. Darn it! Sliced it again! Ah, you're not keeping your head down. Uh, I know, but I can't. Because your hairpiece keeps slipping. What? How did you know I wear a hairpiece? Come on, Joe. Everyone knows. Stick a flag in it and you could spot that thing teeing off from a par five. Here, try mine. It's from the folks at Mr. Divot. Wow, it... It feels like grass. It is grass. That's the genius behind the Mr. Divot hairpiece system. I can grow my own replacements, and it comes in lots of designer colors. Midsummer burn, autumn harvest, and new Kentucky bluegrass. Oh, sounds great, but, I mean, will it come loose while I'm golfing? Not even with the nine iron. Come on, let's go replace that divot. You mean Mr. Divot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mr. Divot hairpieces are available at all fine salons and garden centers. This week on Space Trek. Captain, the shields aren't holding, the holodeck is malfunctioning, and the replicators are making dog food or something out of the time continuum. Good gracious, have you tried a tachyon burst? Yes. Phase disruptor array. Yes. Replicated lateral hollow injector coils with lemon. Yes, but nothing seems to work. And now my alien Ford is morphing again. What we need is a new vocabulary word. There's only five minutes left in this episode. Does anyone have any ideas? Captain, I can have a word ready in ten minutes. That won't do. We can't afford a two-part episode. What about the Machina way? Deus ex Machina. No, Lieutenant. It needs to be late 20th century pseudo-scientific. Like quasi-dimensional EMF or... Wait, I've got it. Well, say it. Uh, no one's going to hurt you. No, I can't think under pressure. Captain, I am sensing great commotion on the bridge. Yeah, I've got your commotion right here, baby. Find out the new word that saves the day. Friday at 8 on Space Trek. Captain, I am sensing low Nielsen ratings. Johnny, what are you chewing? <gasps> is that chewing tobacco? Calm down, Ma. This is new Chud. The ABC chew of future big leaguers like me. ABC? Already been chewed. Chud is donated by former baseball stars to get kids like me off to a good start. But doesn't that cause C-A-N-C-E-R? Mom? Former greats like Catfish Hunter and Joe Pepitone make sure that most of the cancer-causing agents have already been chewed out of Chud. Most of the cancer-causing agents? Come on, Mom. You gotta keep a little excitement in a chew. Chud does that. And more. Well, if the big leaguers endorse Chud, it must be all right. Yes! Hey, young man. Not in the house. Sorry, Mom. Chud comes in a variety of flavors, including Catfish, Three Fingers, and New Sparky. Chud, the first step to a big league chew.